Poetry is so peaceful and such a piece of art. Hello, you beautiful soul. I felt like reading poems today. So I'll be reading poems that are about healing and inner strength. And I will make sure to link down below in the description down below by whom they are written by. Now sit back and relax as I read to you. Now let's get to reading. The first poem I'll be reading is called Butterfly. Sometimes we bend ourselves so out of shape that we look in the mirror and we aren't clear on who we see before us. We place ourselves in a cocoon and close ourselves off from our authenticity because there's a shallow comfort and safety. But it all starts to feel too tight and restricting. Your soul awakens and all you want to do is fly. Then something just clicks. We spend so much time dressing ourselves and other people and their preferences then we forget that we have our own unique taste of clothing, our own sense of self. A fearless and undeniable sense of self that embodies every amazing thing, the yin and yang in our whole being in its eternity. Why have we hidden all of our innate beauty? To feel safe, loved, accepted, or to stay under the radar. Afraid and anxious of what people may see when the mask falls off but you only need to accept and love yourself. There is beauty both inside and outside of the cocoon that pushed you to grow. Through darkness and dysfunction, death and despair, a vivid light splits through and steals you away. When you get comfortable with your own messy and beautiful self, nothing and no one can block you. You finally see your truth. You fall in line with the beat of your own vibration. You come out of your cocoon, a gorgeous butterfly. This next poem is called, I Carry It With Me. Somewhere there is a place where I belong, where an orchestra plays my favorite song. Butterflies gather and birds fly high, a beautiful place in a sunlit sky. I wake and I wonder the land of the free, where souls dance happy and the shore meets the sea. Mermaids chat and whisper the day and gods of hope are not far away. The place where I belong sits right in my hand. It lays in oceans blue and drifts off hot sand. I carry it with me for my eyes to see that the place I belong sits within me. All right, the next poem I'll be reading is named Staircase of Faith. We get lost on the lower steps of the staircase with heavy hearts and tired minds, jaded souls and eyes that blind but there is a profusion of potential on that climb. The picture doesn't unfold all at once. Each step up inspires something newly visible to you. Trust in what is hidden, in the verses of sublime scriptures and skies, in the translucent ties that gently bind. Have faith in what is clouded and unseen and know that where you are now is where you are meant to be. And quickly before I read the next poem, I wanted to say if you have been relaxing and enjoying these poems so far, I would greatly appreciate it if you were to send me a thank you tip by simply buying me a coffee. The link is in the description down below. I mean, your girl does not get paid by YouTube yet, so hey, help a sister out please and thank you. On to the poems. This next poem is called One Day. One day you will heal. One day you'll be grateful for the deepest cuts of pain. One day you will glance at yourself and see a stronger person through your reflection. One day you will kiss away your hurt gently and with grace, like a white hot pyre through your star spangled eyes. A fire to regenerate every shadowy cell and open your heart to every experience, knowing that one day, you will search your heart and understand that love is the only thing to ever hold on to. This next poem is called Darkness. Darkness is inevitable, just as light is divine, and one without the other simply does not work. It does not exist. For you need the deepest tints of what darkness beholds to truly show grace to the whispers of light and the mellow gold that hides inside your soul. I searched and swam the waves of my emotional sea, 
back deeply into a territory that yelled to be known to me. And I found a beauty in the black, an honesty to own. That is, the darkest parts of me are the most beautiful, I know. Alrighty, thank you so much for tuning in, you beautiful soul, and thank you for letting me read to you. I hope you enjoyed these poems. I hope they made you feel a bit more relaxed, a bit more calm. But just a reminder to be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to yourself. Now go let yourself shine.